Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Dark Sheep. My name is Dark Cloud, joined by Nimbi or Mrs. Cloud. So today we've got an interesting title, Dark Sheep, which is a block pushing puzzle game with horror elements. Mm. And it should be immediately clear just from the title screen that this game is a throwback to the Commodore 64 era of gaming. Uh, the story is, is you're playing a member of an unholy cult whose job it is to kidnap sheep and keep them safe until the day of the ritual. <laughs> so that's a very interesting uh, storyline for what's essentially a Sokoban title. Mm. So let's take a look at the settings first. Display can be set to full screen, borderless or window. Particles can be enabled and it's also got a CRT mode. I can't remember, did the Commodore 64 have CRT? Did it have scan lines? Yeah. Okay, so we Yeah, we it. played um, Commodore 64 on the CRT all the time. It was one of the first systems that I played in full color on. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Audio settings, the master volume, music, sound volume. And then the controls, basically up, down, left or right. Undo, retry, next menu, confirm and cancel. I'm glad to see there's an undo button. I might need that one. It's been a couple of years until since I've played Sokoban. Mm. And HUD settings. You can choose whether to show these. It's got a scoreboard, it's got achievements, there's a link to the developer's Twitter. It's being developed by uh, let's see Daisy Games. And it's coming out on the 23rd of April. You can also check out the newsletter. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. Chapter 1 The Kidnapping. Mm. Welcome, brother. This is your final trial. Show our brotherhood what you've learned. Remember, you must push the sheep into the cages. Mm -hmm. Use the grass as a bait. It will lure them in. Make sure that the sheep eat all the grass. They must be well fed for what is to come. Now the trial begins. Good luck, brother. <laughs> you can also hear from the audio that the soundtrack was actually created on a real modified 1989 Nintendo Game Boy and the sound effects were made via the SID chip emulation. Oh, that's cool. So here we can see the movement is all very tile based like those Commodore 64 games were with a very limited color palette and everything. Mm. Assuming these little white blobbies here are the sheep. Mm -hmm. So pushing them along the grass into the cage. Easy as that. This is a little trickier because the uh, sheep eats the grass. So if I use one sheep to cover the grass, the other one can't do the same. You have to be creative mm. with your solutions. So I did it in 114 moves, the power is 60. Mm. Okay. I don't know how that's possible, but apparently there's some Sokoban experts. Mm. Here we are on level 2, which is in the woods. Cool what they've done with the background. <laughs> yeah. Character not moving now. There we go. Yeah, then try to move it with the mouse. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so here, I guess I can move. No, I can't move. Oh, I can only move the sheep on the cross. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit trickier to get all of the, the cross. cross. Which direction do I start? This is. Okay, let's see if this works. Is it? Yeah, it's been a while, but I still have some circulars and skills. But uh, I might have already Screwed messed up. it up there. Where's that undo? Okay, awesome. I can only undo once. <laughs> uh, no, I already messed up. So I forgot about the cage. The purpose is not just to get all the grass, you have to get it into the cage too. Mm. So, a retry time. So that means I'm going to have to actually go around the edges, I suppose. 
What do you think? Sir. There's this, this. There. Not down. Yeah. Down. Got it. Ha! See? I'm not completely ignorant in the ways of Sekobat. Mm. This is a bit but different, a little... hmm? yeah, This is a bit different from Sekoban, where it's yeah, very Oh, cool. Sekoban, you were basically what, pushing boxes in a warehouse, trying not to trap yourself mm. into your... Your herding sheep. <laughs> yeah, you really need to think ahead and look ahead. So... Can... Push it down, up. Hmm. Will mm. that work? You can see these uh, puzzles getting tricky very soon. Otherwise, this sheet must go all the way up to here, down. Sure. Yeah, because whichever one you end up in the cage with, the other one has to eat all the grass. Yeah, that's the thing. Let me just check. Do they have to? Yeah, they have to eat all the grass. Mm -hmm. Can't go in the cage half fit. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so you really need to get all of the grass. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, because this is going to be the trickiest part, this bottom section. So I'm thinking that this sheep should actually go into that cage. But how? Because then this one can... Or should it go down here, down here, and down here? This is way trickier than it looks, or I'm making it complicated for myself. I can't stand on the cage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that one up already? So that sheep. Feel free to jump in at any time and offer mm -hmm. assistance. <laughs> I played a lot of Circa Band, but that was years ago. See, it's easy enough to get the grass blocks, but these top ones are the what a problem. Are the problems. So that's yeah, I think you would right. have to, to push this left sheep into the top right cage. It's the mm -hmm. only way you're gonna get the... Now the problem is it can't go left here, because I can't go left on top of the cage. So... And I can go this route. But then what? Intense concentration mm -hmm. going on here. <laughs> We're gonna miss two blocks, two blocks there and on this side. Two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> A nice pattern you've yeah, got going there. Pattern there, but so these are the culprit blocks. How do I get to them first? <laughs> if I do that. I went yeah, see the message of the issue of our foundations to the right. Mm. This is evil. Evil, I tell you. Can't you push this sheep, um, let it eat everything here on the left, and then you push it to the top into that cage, and then you make the right sheep eat everything uh, on the right, and then push it from the it. bottom cage. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Clever person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be the same on this side. Mm. See, I was overcomplicating things. Overthinking it all. This game has got how many levels? Looks like 40 levels. 40 levels. I don't know if my brain will survive mm. that many levels. <laughs> I think it's cool, even if you do like one a night or something, just to chill a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely a nice mental workout. I'm not sure how many people are gonna truly appreciate the Commodore 64 style visuals. We're living in an era where people like their eye candy. Mm. 
but I think it's definitely a unique approach to the genre. I mean, there's already a lot of Soccer Band clones out there, but I can safely say I think this is the first one ever featuring a cultist catching sheep to sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very cool. Um, it's like really a trip down memory, memory lane. These graphics actually remind me a bit of the very first Ultima games. I remember walking around in this tile based movement set between the trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so clearly this little sheep has to go in this cage, I think. Let's try the random tent mm. here. So, this one is going to be like this. I have to redeem myself for that disastrous previous level. <laughs> there we go. Well I done. feel clever again. <laughs> it is. Uh, like I said, this game is coming out on the 23rd. I really like it. I think it's a nice little palette cleanser between the bigger, more involved type games. You can really sit down and challenge yourself a bit. And it's priced at $2.99. I mean, that's pocket change for 40 levels of mental exercises. What do you say? I agree. You'll keep your brain young. Yeah, it's coming with a 10% launch discount as well. We'll leave the link in the description. Go wishlist the game if you like what you see and be sure to grab it when it comes out. Cool. Thanks for joining us. Bye.